Hi everyone, glad you can make it. My name is Sarah and I'm a fully figurative artist. But today, um, I will not be doing any figurative art as I think I need to unwind and do something simpler and more abstract. And so I came up with this Mickey Mouse pour. To find out what it is, please watch until the end and you'll see. Now, my base color, um, this is actually yellow, but it's a bit of brown as well because I don't want the yellow to be too bright. It's still summer and I want a summer vibes to it, so that's why I want the background to be yellow. Now, at the beginning of the video, you get to see a lot of air bubbles coming out from the paints and that is because I stirred the paints too vigorously. If you want less air bubbles, then you've got to stir it well. Otherwise, you have a lot of tiny bubbles, which can and cannot be good in your art, depending on what you want. But for this piece, I, I want it to be as smooth as possible, but I also want a little bit of air pockets here and there to create textures. So when you blow over with a hairdryer, due to the, the warm wind coming out from the hairdryer, it will pop the air bubbles away. You can also use a torch to pop all the air bubbles. So let's keep pouring and let's see how this turned out to be. Now, if you're new here, please do me a big favor by subscribing and hit the notification button for updates from me. Thank you all so much. And this is the best way I think you can support me as an artist. Thank you. So here I am, I'll show you how I torch my works. Most of the times I just skip this part in my videos because I assume that people know why you need to torch. But if you don't know why you need to torch, I'm here to explain it. So torching actually just help you to burst all the air bubbles in the paints so that when your painting dry, especially when the paints dry, it will dry smoothly. Now if you don't do this, at the end of a painting, you have a lot of tiny air pockets resurfing on top of the canvas. Now I say resurfing because um, you don't see all these air bubbles. You may think that you torch it well, but there are still a lot of air bubbles stuck underneath all the paints. So, that is why please touch it well and make sure that you touch it evenly if you do not want any air bubbles to surface when your paints dry. Now here I'm just going to do a bloom and then I'm adding two small ears at the side. That's why I call this the Mickey Mouse pour because it looks like Mickey Mouse. I want to know how this will turn out to be. I honestly do want to use red uh, in my works again but it reminds me of this summer that I had and so I thought it would be cool to add it in. Now just look at the color mixing, it's really pretty beautiful. <laughs> so here I am. It does look like a Mickey Mouse, doesn't it? It's so cute. So I'm just going to do the same step, which is put the red first and the orange and the yellow and the white. That's it. No other colors. Now from this you can tell that the consistency of my paints are not the same and I most of the time deliberately do this because I do not want um, my paints to have the same consistency. I do not like it and this is just the way I paint because I want my paints to be fun and unexpected. Now because I mix my paints too violently, that's why I have to keep torching because there are all the air bubbles underneath the paints resurfacing all the time. Now that I've emptied all my paints, I'm just going to torch it one more time to have less air bubbles. As you can see, I torch it very carelessly because I do like air bubbles sometimes in my work so yeah right so now I'm blowing it downwards to cover the paste with the white the base white and then I'm just going to blow it out so this is a very simple yet very very stunning process and whoever who invented this technique is a genius I would say because who knows you can paint like this right Look at the colors. Aren't they gorgeous when they are sprayed out? So I still remember my first bloom when I first started fluid art a long time ago. Um, it was disastrous. <laughs> this takes a lot of skills to actually do it. 
and the more you practice of course the more you'll be pro at this technique so just look at it now it does look like a dove spreading out its fiery wings and tail and this is such a stunning piece just look at the colors it does bring out the summer sun that is shining or burning so brightly in summer this is gorgeous and unexpected so i'm glad that i add in the red and the yellow and the orange and the white so now i'm just going to torch it and i'll be more selective of where i want to torch it so that there will be cells at the place that i only want it to have cells and the rest of the parts that i don't want them to have cells i will lift the torch up by doing this there are less heat on the surface of the canvas thus producing less cells Now to end, I'm just going to touch everywhere to burst out all these tiny um, air bubbles that are stuck in the paints. It does look like I've sprinkled white sprinkles all over my painting and this looks like a, a cake ganache, which looks so delicious, doesn't it? Right, I think I'm done now, just for the final blow. And I'm just going to spread them out gently and evenly okay I think I'm done right please let me know what you think of this piece I hope you enjoyed the process and I hope that you learned a thing or two from it so thank you all for tuning in and for joining me today um, I'll see you guys again next week take care all and bye bye